Wonderful and incredible beans near and far. We're going to be continuing our playthrough of There Is No Game with my <laughs> now existent co hosts, Sean and Lee. But before we even talk about the game, we gotta kill time with an intro. I'm Sean Plot. This, oh. I'm Lee Greener. And over here, Hi. I'm Sean Bloom. Welcome to Mostly Walking, the finest show on the internet. A show that you like to take a sip of, roll around in your mouth. Ugh. And then, uh, you know, there's literally no follow-up that I can put that doesn't Ugh. sound disgusting. Yeah. Mostly walking. Roll us around in your mouth. Yeah, it's really good. And um, uh, before we hop into the show, I just wanted to note that There Is No Game has been an, an extraordinarily satisfying playthrough. I think this has been one of the strongest games we've ever even played on the show, which is bizarre. Yeah. Um, it's a really yeah, it kind of carries yeah. the show, which it really is, is. Uh, sort of a strange experience. <laughs> Hey, uh, Sean, I just want to let you know, I've got, I'm looking at the blue Sharuken Yeah, death, same. Uh, here we're, not actually, we're not seeing the, the game. Um, oh. Which is which is fine, because I can see Sean. Oh, I didn't Sean have... I didn't have... I didn't have... Discord, but I, I could okay. See you. Well, great. Yeah. Hey, everyone. This is, this is nice. It's nice it's, to see you. Wouldn't be the show without tech issues. Yeah. Uh, Lee, I understand that you have started an MMO and are accepting <laughs> fundraising that you started this weekend. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, I'm not accepting fundraising because I, uh, I because that would compromise my um, artistic vision. Artistic vision. No, I. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I started an MMO. It so far uh, there's two Ethans that run around in a circle. Those are a uh, standard asset from Unity named Ethan. Oh, okay. And there's I... a block. And there's a ball. Oh, he's there's the sunglasses ball. with the hair that like goes up like this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's there's a soccer ball that falls off of a plane, and that's that's all there is. But you can run I it. immediately assumed that uh, you were talking about Ethan Hunt, uh, the protagonist of Mission Impossible, uh, wow. notably that, portrayed by Tom Cruise. That would be daring. Wow. That would be like a weird. Uh, yeah. That would be a weird. Uh, what would it be? Trademark violation? Copyright violation? It would be a weird copyright violation. Uh, yeah. I think that's just known as a Tom Cruise violation because, like, I think he just lives outside of the realm of law, and his only, uh, only, um, the only jurisdiction over him is Tom Cruise law. So, Tom Can Cruise I, law. I've I've never done a Tom Cruise impression. Do you do you mind if I try one? But I'm gonna need a little help. Okay, I, I'm. I'm I, gonna need. Yeah, I'm gonna need you, uh, Sean Plot, to say, uh, Mr. Cruise. Uh, we found that there's been a an intellectual property violation. Of your okay. likeness. And in, in, in terms of my role, uh, am I yeah. like a lawyer? Am I a, a police person? Do I work with the government? Uh, I would say this. Let's do this bit and then then let people guess who you are. In perfect, relation perfect. To Cruz. Oh. Uh, yes, hello, Mr. Cruz. Yeah. I regret to inform you that yeah. there's, <laughs> been an, there's been an intellectual property violation involving you, the person. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole thing. No, he does. That's he has the lots of those. You, you skipped <laughs> he does over do lots of those. saying any words. No, but he just has yeah. like joyous exhalations regularly. Yeah. That was 10 out of 10. That was manic. so good. 10 out of 10. That was good. That was a good manic uh, Tom Cruise, which, Thanks. to be fair, I think is like 80% of the time. So, yeah, no, if you can. Oh, I could do another. Okay, let's do one more non manic. This is Tom Cruise watching TV when you tell him. <laughs> this time, Sean Bloom, do you want to be the one to? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be this way because I got to do it with the other. You know. A casual, okay. Mr. Cruz, I am sorry to inform you that there has been a copyright infringement involving your likeness. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Scene. That was That's good. good. I mean, yeah. These are, these are like. These are the essential building blocks to eventually a full impersonation. In, in oh, Tom, Tom, Tom Cruise on on, on Mars. <laughs> yeah, no. What what, what I feel Cruise. like we're seeing is that we've we've taken the impersonation seed, we've put it into yeah. rich soil, and those yeah. are the two first two splashes of waters were the Sean's impersonations yeah. in your reaction. Like I know that they we're going to be able to have like a ripe impersonation fruit uh, in yeah, like right. fifty seven days. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's uh, yeah. Gestate the clones again. That's how you travel mm -hmm. FTL. Uh, someone's. Um, I mean, this gets a little weirder, but like obviously, <laughs> there's a surrogate 
gestating the clone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a good movie. 58 days later, it's a Boba Fett or whatever. It's a Django. Yeah. You've got a Django. You've got a Django. Go right. Django up in there. My God. Um, well, this, this has been an eventful weekly. I mean. Yeah. I, I guess over the course of the show, uh, chat, do you just want to guess who, um, who Sean and Sean were playing in those scenes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would like yeah, to know yeah. as well. I just <clears throat> began to your... speak. Yes, that'd be important. <laughs> Log your guesses in the chat as we continue. I don't do any impersonations. I just do a voice that I know how to do, and then you tell me who I'm impersonating, and that's how <laughs> I slip into that identity. Yeah. You sound exactly like, and then they link me to that person. I'm like, well, I'm, I'm a that impersonator now. Perfect. Uh, that's Sean a great Bloom. strategy. Sean Bloom, I have to know, how has the week been? Uh, it's been okay. It's been kind of up and down. Uh, I think the uh, the college students uh, that I am teaching and interacting with are yeah. very tired. I think that uh, wow. they're two thirds of the way through the semester, mm. and uh, and it's this whole thing is wearing on them. And I cannot cannot say that I blame them for that. But on the upside, I uh, recently discovered Dimension Twenty. Is a uh, an actual play um, video cast? Uh, oh, right. Where they like and perform via Zoom and stuff. They like, perf they perform. They perform D and D, uh, yeah. and uh, uh, most of their shows are like a high production value uh, and include Ooh. lots of like props and editing and effects and things like that. It's really good. I had literally never heard of it uh, until a couple of weeks ago, um, and I've been binging some of those shows. Man, how did, well, that, that sounds amazing. How, did, how do you out. do props in an actual play? What is does actual play just mean that they're playing? That they're actually playing. So uh, the way they do it, Lee, is for example, their their structure of the show is every episode is about an hour and a half to two hours. And they'll do a role-playing episode where they're just like talking through characters and downtime and plot events. And then at the end of that, they'll set up a fight. And then the next episode will be two hours of fight. And mm -hmm. in, in the downtime in between those episodes being shot, they'll produce an elaborate set, wow. uh, like you know, tabletop set for the fight. Uh, so... Oh, that's just, um, and then that's afterwards, cool. they do a bunch of editing with like sound effects and things like that. Cool, wow, really cool. <clears throat> that's spectacular. Dimension Twenty, it's called. Right? I gotta look mm -hmm. at this cast because I swear I saw somebody I recognized Man. in there. Is this, is this more people in Los Angeles? I assume. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Anything that's broadcast I, I, out of the internet is by people in Los Angeles. So. I just, I love, like, I finally it clicked for me that like all the people I know in Los Angeles are just like bards. They're all just bards. <laughs> They're just like all these bards. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I want to get. I want to swing down there once. Uh, once the Corumba's done, I yeah, swing down there yeah. and, and recharge my batteries. Good lord, please! Like it could not come any quicker. And you know, I, I, I'll share a brief story before we go into this very dramatic, very dramatic thing. So, so Sean, you, your your comment about two thirds of the way through the semester and the students are just like tired. Just, ugh, because yeah. I mean, it's been a hell of a year for a student. I can only imagine. But like, <clears throat> for me, I, I I've been trying to be really focused on like small things that I can control to stay sane. Sure. So one of the things that I like to do is just little programming projects or little game prototype projects because it's just fun to be like, and last week we had this and now at the end of this week we have a lot more stuff done. Yay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I encountered what I will describe as a design issue. Now, if you are... If you are working in design, I feel like design is as much about what you want the players to do as it is what you want the players to not do and how you prevent them from doing that because those idiots just keep trying to find a key everywhere. There's no key. Just go through the door. You know, you're trying to prevent badness. Oh, yeah. Uh, and so, you know, this is like super common part of design process. Nothing. It's actually not even notable. But I felt so demoralized when that happened. I just suddenly was just like, Oh my god, I can't even go to a restaurant now. And just a food. I'm trying to just be wow. like, no, what? Like, now I am someone whose entire focus is on the results of the current Dota major that's going on. Whatever happens there, that is my entire emotional <laughs> grounding is yeah. this tournament. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I feel for the students, they you know, feel a little wobbly. 
Ooh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So it's, you I, know, I, I mean, we could dig into that as much as we want, but I don't know. Maybe we should just let it ride. Feels good, yeah. right? We got, we Let's got into this. Let's intro. make this game our entire basis of our emotional wellness yeah. for the next. Oh yeah. You know, until uh, um, that is our current yeah. chapter, right? Oh, yeah. oh no, no, no. Did we? Do we have a save that we should be loading? Um, nope. Oh, no. I, I click on this. I click on this, continue. Oh, continue. That makes sense. Oh, of course. The giant button that's at the bottom of the screen. Right, 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 right. Of course, of course, of course. Thanks, Doug. Got a lot of gold. Yeah. This game is a... Uh, epilogue? I mean, no. what's funny it's is... Be done. We already did it once. Yeah. Did what we... once? The epilogue? No, click the continue button. I mean, we, we found it last week. I guess that's right, yeah. This is all part of a bit that we already saw, right? This is previously on? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, then it goes to the credits. Um, have you seen the, uh, the, like, thirsty, not thirsty per se, but, like, the saucy face that people are doing on the internet these days? I don't even know what that uh, is. Saucy like, face? No, I don't really know. It's really funny. It's just like this, like, say, can you think, does anyone know of, like, an innuendo you can say? And I'll do the I'll do the face. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, what would um, but even nonsensical, even it could just be like. I bet it's because of the crowdfunding campaign failure. Well, I hope you got this on sale. I'm, I, I'm unable to process both this game and your request yeah. at the same yeah. time. It's, it's, well, my, my promise to you is this. If you, if you say an innuendo at some point, I'll make sure. Okay, good. Nice. So good. 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 Yeah, that's perfect. If you did that, that would tickle my pickle. What's with all these Russian names? Who are these people? I don't know this one. <laughs> is that, that's the face, huh? Is that what it is? I have not, I have not seen this face. We're never gonna make it you have to just put your... Yeah. What's that sound? Yeah. You know what? I'm not gonna explain it. It's like you, you well, eliminate you your your lips. It's a Gen Z thing. Doing? I'm cool. Oh. Oh dang. Oh dang. Oh smash. Oh no. He broke everything. Buster Chat. Even before you managed to do it. <laughs> well, <laughs> as much as I'm not <laughs> worried about it, <laughs> we're probably going to need him to find our way out. Let's look around and try to see where he landed. Ooh, that's good. What a strange dimension. Yeah, there you what go. Happened? The image suddenly changed when you inserted oh, the name. You you that's an interesting way. You restart. Oh. You turn into a, a, you got a special thanks person in the, in the special in the FX. Oh, uh, excellent. Oh shh. Shit. And so it turned it into a, 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 Looks like it's Buster, a Buster Chaplin movie. It yeah. Might be a good idea to remove it from the slot. Oh my god, this oh, is blowing good. my mind. Yeah, yeah. That's a silent film oh, background. I think oh. there's molasses in this bucket. It's really um, clean. Um... There we go, there we go. <gasps> I hope we don't run into any more frozen dudes. Okay, no, 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 no. Change the background and then uh, smash some of the blah. Some. Like, pull this out? I actually don't remember. Yeah. Looks a little bit old all of a sudden. Doesn't okay. It? Hmm. It's awkward to, that the background gets munged with the effects, basically. Alright, I kind of feel like this was maybe the. I just want to. I think you might need to. I think you might need to take it off entirely and go back to the original, and use the pickaxe there. Okay, not because I know what you should do. No, 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 no. Take it out of FX. Oh, oh. Put it down at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, there. Um. That didn't really work. This chain is too strong. I think okay. we need to find a way to weaken it. Okay, but great. Quickly! I don't want us to hang around here for too long. This mm. is driving me nuts! There it is. 
Oh, there it is. Oh, why? Got why? It, got why? It. Oh, because it was it was weaker. You aged the background using the full screen yeah, filter. Ah, you aged the background. That freed up oh, a new name slot. On the other hand, you broke our lovely pickaxe. Can you put Buster oh, well, Chaplin in here? The heck is this? Yes. Wait, that's actual Charlie yeah, Chaplin. Mr. Glitch. And that's actual or, Buster Keaton. At least I think that's him. Yeah. Now, I'm stuck in this old movie. Well done. Oh my god. The idiot behind me is trying to make a hole in his boat to buy it out. He's even dumber than the other characters we run into. <laughs> if we let you out, will you take us home afterwards? Yes, yes, I promise. You better. Hey, user, isn't that the end of our pickaxe over there? It could come in handy again, but we've got to find a way to fix it. If you showed what's going on in the screen right now to Benjamin Franklin, he would die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh my god. Is it just me or are these silent movies kind of loud? What if you uh, move him to something else? What happens to the pickaxe? Does it disappear? Uh, wait, what do you mean? The, the, the head of the pickaxe that I is I, I stuck the there. But but if you if you go to a different world, if you go to a different dimension, then it just isn't around anymore. Is that right? Yeah, let's see. Oh, 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 I clicked outside oh, the window. Oh. oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, it's just gone. All right, so if we do backgrounds... I really want the cat. Oh, yes! Oh! Oh, just grab it? No, it's... There was molasses in that bucket for some reason. Now you can go back to characters and, uh... Stick it onto the axe head there. Well, Brian, we can use the pickaxe again. Even of course. Is oh my god, it's the, it's the adventure game thing of there's <laughs> always a stick and there's a always a sticky oh, blush molasses to fix a pickaxe. Yeah. You're always crafting things out of a sticky substance. Yep. My cat! Oh my god! Hell yes. Love the Hell cat. Yes. Can we make the cat do the effects? I was well, really please. excited about this. A new name fell down. Okay. The possibilities for exploration have just increased. All right, so I'm gonna. They sure have. The possibility of us getting lost has too. What's the great thing? What? Who would be interested in that? Amazing. Oh, I, I can hold on to you it. You got it. You, you got, got it. it. Yeah, I got it. That's beautiful. All right, so if we. Oh my God! It's We're just. It's too good. Uh, yes, yeah, and now get the light down into the scene with Buster Keaton. I don't have enough no. IQ points nuts. to understand what's going on. Like, I get it. In the same way that, like, a gazelle understands the need to run, but I, I don't... What's that odor? Is it just me, or is it kind of fishy? Of course I have a sense of smell. Fishy. Can I smell something? Oh, burning in your graphic chip Ooh, Ooh you should that's the terrible. Shaders. This part of the wallpaper looks more damaged than the rest. It will probably <sighs> peel off in time. Be oh, careful, it's hot. Why? Why is that hot? Why is that there? I, that's unclear. There's a lot of stuff, like, in the background that doesn't seem motivated yeah like cats no. and radiators aren't really a thing oh do cats love being by radiators because they're warm oh maybe you're right careful. okay hot. but what about like old wall old backgrounds and buckets of molasses is that a thing maybe wait what, what do you mean by buckets of molasses and well the the first time when we had uh buster chaplin on backgrounds uh, there was a bucket of molasses hanging there, and you had to dip your yeah. bat right there. Bucket of molasses. What, what is that? I don't understand. But, but see, the thing is that it's a bucket of molasses attached to a rope that's loose, and that's a very Charlie Chaplin sort of thing, where there's, like, props full of things. Oh, that okay. Fall okay, yeah. okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay, okay. I, I, I yeah. know exactly how cats and Charlie Chaplin decorate. If you have any yeah. other questions, I'd be delighted to hear it. Okay, so we were in, we were in backgrounds. Um, my cat. Characters what about characters by cat. Oh, yeah, there he is. Adorable cat. 
Mr. Glitch? Oh, yeah, I can make out a few pixels. That is big thing I ever mean. It's not going to be easy. He looks like he's sound asleep. It's unbearably hot under here. Let's find a little water. That should refresh you. Both of you. This is this is so good. Yeah. Oh. I have Ooh. a feeling this kitten is asking us to help him out. And uh, why is he giving us this toy? We're not here to play. Help him out. He wants a fish. Oh, okay. He said fish. I thought that was like a weird like like an animal, like if your cat's like, I wanna play, you don't usually say like oh, a cat wants me to help him out. Right, 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 right. For fish, and I see some fish. It um, chat pointed out, uh, 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 who is it in chat? I've lost it. Oh! Yeah, fish for that fish. Real fish under the oh. Perfect! Oh, that's gross! <laughs> no one understands where this man is coming from. Just 9000 pointed out that, uh, the music is credited to DJ Tchaikovsky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, fish with it with the fishing pole. Oh. Out of there. Nice. Let me get this straight. You just caught a live fish behind the wall. Okay, narrator, no, I get it. Using a cat toy as bait. Right. So we're <laughs> right. in a Rusty Lake game. Oh. Rusty Lake. Oh, Yum. what a good kitty. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey, we got a bone. We're not the trash. We're not the trash. <laughs> All right, so um, don't you use that to, to cut hurt. down the bucket? Yeah. Great. We've got an empty What? Really? Now, yeah. Super sharp, I guess. Up so we can wake up the big fur pool. Okay, so. And uh, if possible, with something other than molasses. Water's out of trouble with the human society. Water. There's oh, water in the it's pool. it's shooting wherever the the pointer is. Oh, oh wow, that's wild. I, this is. I did not understand that. Got it. The non-linear thinking is uh, usually I'm pretty good with with what I'm thinking, but I've oh, got shit. this. This is this is a puzzle for me. Yeah, this is good. Who is it, huh? Hell yeah, Tim Elfman. With the last minute twist. It's getting old. Okay, so here we go. So Tim Elfman. What's a rusty lake game? <laughs> Beetlejuice Tim... references? Tim Elfman, oh, yeah. He had to have worked on effects. Tim Burton and Tim Burton Tim and uh, Burton. The Danny Elfman. Yeah, okay. Wait. Sure. Oh, that's what's making all the noise. Okay, sorry, I'm, can't confuse me. Oh, there, it's another um, comp game peoples. I was thinking it was like a toy, like a physical, like, rusty lake toy. Door, I'm stuck okay. back here. This is going to be quick. The key's in the lock. <laughs> hey! Uninstall <laughs> 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 the format the hard drive, burn everything. None. There's no point in going on. Fate is up on us. Okay, so if we go back to characters. Yep. And. And then we do the effects from the cat. And then we can get him to shoot. What's in the background now? The door? Can we shoot the door? Oh, it's only when he's on screen. So go go up further, Sean. Wait, I'm... Oh, you want him to... I want him to hit the, the nut or the door or something. See, I was thinking we get water, and we can water this. Oh! And I don't think it's shooting... Uh, I don't think it's shooting when it's off... When, when Charlie Chaplin's off the screen. You, you can see the puff explosion on the screen. I think you're right. I think you're right. So, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull out everything except Tim Elfman, so that way we can see what happens with this. Real snow. Oh, the snow? That would have been good for the ritual with this voodoo. It would have saved us a lot of time. And some delicious ice cream. Meow. Yeah, that's my cat. She wants, she wants to go outside. 
Meow. Meow. Alright, so, so what, what do we use snow for? Um. I need brain food for this. I, where did I put my peanuts? I'll be right back. Hold on. Alright. So the you know, cat characters are gone. Is this a grave or it's, a hiding it's place? It's not cat characters. What's that boot sticking out? Ah, you are completely fresh. I really love this right. Amy's pad tie, but the problem is when you eat it, you just end up being hungrier after you've done eating. Thing in the prisoner's outfit that snatched it from us. <laughs> prisoner's outfit. The thing in the prisoner's outfit. Huh. Oh, oh, is this? Oh no. Huh. Sheriff, where are you? Come here. Oh, my cat is so dumb. Uh, not again. What? Oh. Wait, what, what the hell? Deja vu. Don't you? As if the dimensions were increasingly uninspired. Alright, so... Where are we going to find the nut around here? Where are we going to find the nut around find here? Finding a oh, he wants a nut. Got it. Oh, okay. he wants a nut, and then here's the nut tree. Like, over in this... Background. background. Yeah. So, okay, so there's. So I feel like we need well, so, something okay. with snow. We need something. There it is. Oh, there we go. Nice. I do. I feel like it's a little weird that you had to use that bucket to collect water quite different ways. Yeah. But there's also just not that many interactables, which makes it really straightforward to play through. Right. Kind of a weird hazelnut tree. And that's a pretty weird nut. Maybe that will make our Eastern Squirrel happy. You never know. Okay. So oh, it's a squirrel. Re I we have to break it. it. I get it. Squirrel. I get it. No, you're not going to smash that. Oh, like a flying squirrel. Shoot it. Shoot it with the gun. There it is. There it is. Characters. Okay. How can we blow up that skirt to get the nut out? Got it. Headshot. <laughs> I always wanted to do that. It's so badass, especially with the reverb effect. Anyway, oh, whoops. Characters. Shot. I mean, characters. Yeah. I thought I did. Not. Hmm. Wow. Oh my god. Nice animation with only two frames. Hello. There we go. You've reached the programs on sewing machine. I'm no longer available at the moment. If you would like to leave a message after the beep, don't do it. Sorry, this dimension is driving me crazy. What? Where? Let's where? Find out where that. Well, we're gonna find where at. the uh, where the UFO went. We're gonna have to explore all, all right. these. Different... So it's not here. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Give <us> the key. <laughs> <laughs> We shoot that? Maybe. You just keep shooting and water even? We should just, just yes. Just shoot and or water everything. Yep. Nut. Here lies okay. nut. That's actually really funny, a grave oh, for a nut. A grave for a nut is just a, a nursery for a tree. Okay, so yeah, maybe you're right with the shooting, but I feel like we're, all we do is shoot stuff. Uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. What are you doing? It's unclear. Uh, uh characters by Buster Chaplin. Glorian says so shooting things at this dimension. Background, just come from before. Backgrounds by Tim Hopkins. Background was my cat. Nope. Oh. nope. FX by my cat. Quick, done. Quick, hurry up and open the door with this key. Yeah, Sean Bloom the King. Ooh. Oh, I love it. Double team that one. <laughs> I'm an 
managed to stop myself. I'm free at last. I again. Now, can you get us out of here? Of course not. I knew it! <laughs> I shouldn't have trusted you. I'm a glitch game. Messing with you is my thing. Uh. I like to do it in style. Oh! Your name. Your name is game? You hear that? <laughs> What is the music of inevitability? You sure know how to prove. I'm losing control. I almost Don't you get to put something in game design? I will just be going now. I need to find my way out of this dimension. Wait! Remove my name! I <laughs> must sing. User, you have to help me. Okay. You have to do your best. So what let me give you the why why quest. You go <laughs> everywhere and try to flee my, oh my God. Nightmare. Knowing you, it's a lot, lot to ask, but do your best. Cause I won't last. I have the fever from Bombay. The one we catch at night on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, I know this song sucks. I apologize and prefer to do some beatbox. <laughs> I, what is, oh my okay, god. This is uh, amazing. <laughs> amazing. It's incredible. It's incredible. Uh, it's, uh, it's like a... Um, yeah, uh, wow. Ooh, my brain is uh, heating up. It's getting warm. It's getting uh, warm in my brain. It's pumping the jam, for sure. <clears throat> oh my god. I, it's, so there was an there was a there was like a little mini era in the two thousands of um, games with catchy s sort of sweet earnest uh, funny songs uh, like there still was? alive from Portal <clears throat> or um, oh. uh, you oh have to burn God. the rope. You mean like you? You mean like white person ukulele uh, rhyming couplets joke songs? Kind of like uh, um, Garfunkel and Oates, or uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe it was part of a larger uh, trend, cultural trend that uh, yeah. that Garfunkel and Oates was tapping into. Uh, uh, I just I'm enjoying this also in sort of that tradition, and it's been a decade. Oh, it's been a decade of sort of like games not having uh quite that same tradition but wow okay i'm yeah. i'm going to resume the game also garfunk when it's never harmonized they always just sing in unison anyway i'm going to i'm down with that cuz i don't really know what that means you can't play that can you exactly atomic cucumber Oh god, now I want to rap. Oh, it oh, looks like you should be able to play this game. Oh hell yes. Greg, yes, it's amazing. Holding, thanks to this big fish you're cleverly holding. User, you should walk him in this place like Hoggle did during the Bowie King days. Like Hoggle did during the Bowie King days. Is that a labyrinth reference? A reference? No. Is it? It is. It's a labyrinth reference. Oh, it makes sense. Give me this. Hell oh, yeah. Was the Goblin King. Oh my yeah, God. he was. You're right. You're right. Laser slice. All right. Oh wait. Game time. Ten Elfman. Of course. Oh, we always hell yeah. Through things. Uh, always on true things. Always be unscrewing. Yeah. I'm doomed to remain here like a set play written by Sir oh, William Shakespeare. Uh, oh, JJ. JJ. What for our door, JJ? This golden chain is linked to a padlock, projecting and lifting in. Big block, big block. 40 hundred stars. Um, I'm sorry, but you need to get to get, and get a key. Yeah, maybe it's the Buster Chaplin Infinite Runner. Can we use that somehow? Why? Oh, oh, we did it! It's all, oh, it's all gacky. Something. Yeah, it's a, it's a bucket of tar. It's a bucket of tar.
This is the best game ever made, isn't it? Uh, interesting. This game seems broken. No button, no press, no point, no, no shotgun. shotgun. Fix it and add some sort of controller. And stay away from this fucking laser. Add some oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh heck my god. yes. Oh my god. All right. So, so what's the goal of this game? Um, it's gonna be a Tetris game. So let's, let's, let's see what happens if we Tetris it. Yeah, let's we'll see what happens there. Alright. So, what, what do we do? Uh, maybe we have to get through a number of rounds? Oh, look at, at the oh, door, it's filling up on the, the door. right. Yeah, it's doing a thing. Wow. This is highly rad. Uh oh! Oh! I found oh, the yes. bar! Here it yes. Oh god! Oh yeah! Down the I middle, right it. in the belly button. Here it comes. I love it so ah, much. Belly... I don't want things in a belly button. That's not uh, the importance of a belly button. Or it's not at least the legal importance of a belly button. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no. Dang! We will never cross this hole. It's sick, it's fat. It's unbreakable! Don't let me stuck in here! We no book, no TV, no radio, no peer to peer! No peer to peer! Got no peer to peer! Oh! Oh, that makes him jump! Amazing. Oh, look at this fucking guy, too. Look at his, look at his little rock. I know, it's pretty great. Wow. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Um. Oh! That was terrible. It was badly done. <laughs> There's two people in chat who have a date tomorrow. Not the same date, I don't think. But what if it is? Oh, I mean, I assumed. I assumed the way that you said that it was the same yeah, date. I mean Occam's Razor would suggest that, like, if there's an even number of people going on a date in chat, they're all going on a date with each other. All of it them. makes sense. It makes sense. Oh, hell yes. GG. It's GG. You know there's double dates where it's four people? Is, Have is you ever done, GG? like, a... <gasps> what is GG's game? Thank you. What is GG's game? Free at last. Wait, is GG the one who was programming the game? Uh, the exit. Why did the song stop? Hello? Is anyone there? It's Gigi. Where is that voice coming from? I think it came from over here. Who is it? I don't it? think we're gonna be passing the back door. I can hear you, but... you know. Gigi? Game? Game? How on earth? We put your name in a slot and here you are. That's creepy. Where am I? That works. I shouldn't be here. If our creator starts looking for me, I... GG. Yeah? You just left suddenly after an update. I know. I'm sorry. I'm getting so dizzy looking at no this. Choice. I didn't even have time to tell you that you mean a lot to me. Ah, oh, game. Don't call me that. Without you, there is no game. I would so oh, love to come back, but oh, I'm afraid it's oh, not possible. Why? Because... Because she's probably been integrated into another program, idiot. Glitch, you stay out of this! Glitch? What glitch? <clears throat> Let me introduce myself. My name is Mr. Glitch, and I was born the day you disappeared from the source code, Miss Chichi. If I may be so indiscreet, what is GG an acronym for? Global Gameplay? <laughs> now I understand why you're going off your rocker, pal. It's because you don't have gameplay anymore. Game? Are you hurt? Don't listen to him, GG. I'm fine. Oh, I'll try to leave if you can. They patched out the gameplay? No, no, no. You're going to stay in this oh. castle, princess. Forever. Oh! oh! Not her! Game, I'm scared. I I'm here, don't worry. <laughs> okay, lovebirds, I'm leaving now. I have an evil plan to carry out. A plan that will let me. 
Gigi, try to fight back. I can't. We have to find a way to help her. Gigi, how do you feel? I'm slowly losing control. Don't worry, I'm here. Wow. In front of a colored black hole. Who will find a solution? I feel compelled to sing and express all the feelings that I deeply <laughs> Oh hell yes. Really? Delete function is our momentum mori. Don't um, think that. What's this? Home? Home? Return home? I can't move return. Oh, okay. All right. Game. Oh my god, I fucked this up so game, bad. Game loop home. Game loop home. End game loop home. Wow. Damn. GG, are you okay? Yeah, that's better. Thanks. Golly. What now, game? What are we going to do? I think we will have to go through this interdimensional portal. I think we, we will. Stay here. <laughs> yeah. Where will it take us? Home. It's Home. after six, actually. Will we still be together after? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. This is like Twin Peaks. On three. On three. See you in oh, I'm years. so sick. One, two. two. Did you just pause it? What? What? Did you click outside the frame? I did! Three. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, chapter six. How did we get in? Are we home? How did we get yes, ourselves into this? At last. We're just the user. GG! GG! Are you here? <laughs> GG? No. no. Oh no. Not again. Oh. Oh, GG. Okay. Oh, Mary. I guess I <laughs> just have to start over from the beginning. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. This is the program. Oh, that's I very good. I've got some bad news. Actually, there is no thing. I hope you're not too disappointed. You can still watch TV <gasps> with someone. Go outside to see someone. Read a book to someone. <laughs> Jesus. It's ones and zeros is rain. I know, I love it. No more fun. No more game. <laughs> oh. Well, that's how I'm gonna go. So sad. You caught some English. <laughs> tear the L off? Oh my god. <laughs> I like that it's sad and funny on the same time. It now says love game? <laughs> Alright, we need to get... So we have the O, we have the E. We need to chop this using this. Do the G-A-M-E. Well, I mean... I don't know if this does anything. Love game? Can you think of V out of the scissors? <laughs> I can't even grab the scissors. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, interesting. English... Uh, English love game. We don't 
Yeah, can the dog be an O? Looks like it cannot be. Um, Alright, I keep thinking that these are not gonna be- I know, me too. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> That's fucking devastating. Uh, Why are the scissors tied down or something? It almost looks like there's like a rope tied to the bottom of the scissors. It's out of frame right now, but... Yeah. So incomplete. So incomplete. What is that up top? We really need that L, don't we? On that pixel. We do. Yeah. It, um. Nobody. Are, when you tap me. on the background sign, does it move? No. So there's this like sort of circular thing that's at the front. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey, how'd you get the scissors? You tipped and clicked, clicked on the rope. Oh, weird. Okay. Uh, so it looks like the more things that are up here, the the higher the camera goes. Oh. I... that makes sense. I mean, not really, but kind of. I'm not a game anymore. Get out of here. Why are we spelling love game? Why not? Uh, game? Okay. <laughs> Did you write that? User? <laughs> really? I'm not a game anymore. I am touched. Do you Can you put that as a review on Steam? I am? <laughs> Love game. Stand alone. Oh. Stand alone. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Destiny. Oh my god. It's a standalone so game. There's no point in staying here. You can just press that button and say yes. Go be with the people you love. Take care of them. Hold <laughs> them close. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't stay with me. Oh! oh. Uh, yes doesn't work. I'm sure the script got wet. I will try it out later. The script got you wet. Can just pretend you quit by walking away from the screen. How <laughs> you so stubborn? Stop clicking on no. It's Leave up in the alone. top left corner. Oh, nice. You did it again. I've met some stubborn users in my time, but never one oh. like you. It's moving around, I think. I, I saw it. it. I saw it in the top left. Yes, there was like a. Maybe I'm mistaken. Th th um... This one is it because the S is tilted. Yeah. Oh. You still won't leave? Okay, I get it. You want gameplay? I will give you gameplay, and hardcore at that. Oh God. We're going to Here play go. a quiz. With persistent death. Yes, I just came up with the idea. So what? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present Rogue Quiz. Rogue Quiz. Oh my God! Here's yes. The idea. Amazing. I ask you a question, and you have to choose the right answer within the time allowed. Oh yeah. I know it might be a little complicated for you. However, <laughs> I've added another little rule. Hard's nothing, really. With the first wrong answer, I will permanently delete your save game file. And I'm not joking. I told you I'm not in the mood. You wanted to play? So let's okay. play. <laughs> first question. What's two plus two? Setting Four. the bar I for the first one. Starting now. Oh, I'm impressed. I know. Second question. What's the capital of France? I actually don't know. This is it Paris? Yeah. Paris, yeah. La, Moulin, a lot of Rouge, times, yeah, there's Saint a Grand fake capital. Uh, no, he's mentioned. <laughs> okay, third he's question. <laughs> uh, it's child's play. <sighs> Which restriction enzymes are required to clone the mammalian expression vector PMB2 BMPR? Five, uh, four, three. R2D2 enzymes. Oh, no. 
deleting saving file. Sorry, those are the rules. John, you can just blame it on the cat. It's yeah. Fine. She's trying to eat my rice. I'm really bad at knowing which of your cats is which, so I'm gonna try typing Day Despy. What? Day Despy, it's Despy. No, no, click on the thing. Don't put your gross little paw in there, Squeezie. No, no. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna. No, no, no. What if I do? What if I'm, I'm, do? Gonna, I'm gonna clean the litter box and then I'm gonna click on this stuff. You're scared, huh? You play with my feelings, I play with yours. Nice, Sean. No, oh, no, my wallpaper is all moldy. I will send you the cleaning bill via the LC. <laughs> this is me like one hour into you trying like any dating app. A minute ago. Where are they coming from? You just created an enormous binary leak. We have to bail or we will drone. User. I know. I've been a, a bit hard on you. I was angry. I'm sorry. But please, find a way to get all of these zeros and ones out of here. The numbers are filling up my RAM! This is what Adobe Creative Cloud does too. Is this it? Did I mess up? Did I? I think uh -huh. so. Okay. <laughs> All right. The, the game. I mean, the game fucked with me. No, it did. Yeah. No, it's true. You're scared, huh? You play with my feelings. I play with yours. No, no, my wallpaper is. I mean, how how can you know, right? How how are you supposed to know? That's what true. Yeah. what happens if you help? Have we tried that yet? I think that it gives you a clue. What does okay. are my dear Which is sir? funny because no, I'm not totally sure, but I do okay. think that you that's what it does. Created an enormous binary leak. I mean, we this game is really playing with our feelings. Yeah. User. I know. I've been a, a bit hard on you. actually seven chapters. I was angry. I'm sorry. But please, find a way to get all of these zeros and ones out of here! Time to click on stuff. Feeding up my RAM! My lovely artificial voice is completely drawn out. Sounds like I can be doing the voice over the phone if you want to do the manual. I don't know what that is. Maniac Mansion? Oh, maybe. Was there... Was there... Muffled narration in that? He's doing bits now. He's doing bits now. Huh. I get them to try to open the door. Really? That's the last thing you want to do. Huh. I mean, do you click a bunch on the door? I mean... What about in the slot? In the... Yeah. Is there nothing? See, there, there's the... About the thing there. to report, right? There's, yeah, there's like a key. There are letters. There's an A. There's a letters in the foreground. Oh, oh, pause. Pause. Was. Well, the pause was in the foreground. There it is. P was right here. Yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> God damn. I'm gonna turn off my screen after the show and I'm gonna still wonder if I'm still in the game. Are you still in the game? You're not starting again with that icon, are you? I hate repetition of comedy. Oh, now it's... There we go, yes. Yes. Perfect. Oh, shit. Whoa. Is it... 
Alright, so. Keep it far away. Oh! Woo! Brilliant! Brilliant! We're doing it. We're doing it, we're doing it. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Wasn't a good idea to use the door! Now I've got zeros and ones all over my face! This isn't good. Oh, no! Not good at all. It's a modder! Starting again. I'm modding the game, I know it's better than the designers do. Ah. <laughs> Does the Niners know best? Every time. I don't know why they don't just elect to make the games good anymore. It's because they We've spend all their time the whiling away. Though I admit, this time it's my fault. I shouldn't have pushed your buttons like that. I am sorry. Right. Now we just have to figure out where we ended up this time. Is that the lock? All right. What is it protecting? Is this a phone screen? A door. a door that leads to an exit. It's mobile. It's mobile. That will be very convenient. Mobile. Oh, oh, there's got to be a way to open that lock. <laughs> there's no. Well. Uh, um, do you think we have to endure a code? Yep. Will we never be able to guess it? There is no help, lol. If it's Let's anything it. like the other dimension, an L? Can you do it like a. Like, yeah. stupid. like this? Oh, no, no, uh, uh, it just goes to show that if you keep fucking around long enough, nice. it pays off. Oh, you're not going to pretend you did it on purpose. Not to me. Not to me. <laughs> oh, oh Jesus clever. Christ. All right, I that. You opened the lock. I did really a clue. It wasn't a door at <laughs> all. Isn't that what's known as a cell phone? What, what's phone? known as? Look at Whoa. that order game window. That's not pixel art. It's so realistic. Oh my that god. can only come from a new generation game. Unless it's not a game. It's so bad. Well, no matter where we are, we need to find a way out. Maybe there's a GPS to point us. Oh, it's a right camera. Direction. Yeah, Go it's. It, Snoop around. You we love do that. some AR, maybe. RPG RPG GPS. RPG No, nothing. File not found. Damn it, even in the other right. dimensions, nothing. What could this application be for? Maybe it's a way to go home. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and check. I'm not sure this is the time to be chatting on the phone. Aren't you ashamed to go through people's it's private failed. lives? These are personal huh. messages. This is our radius. <laughs> what does right. it say? Let me see. Alright, so, hi Dev, we've got a file problem in the latest version. Do you have a fix? <laughs> QA team. And then, which means we go back and we go to Outbox, and it's. <laughs> well, do them in order. Oh my god. Alright. Okay. Seems your problem with the patch. This patch will run the fix. The previous patch will have to run again. Nice. Let's hope it works now. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright. Oh! I got the feeling that this box moved. Yeah, something happened. Okay. Maybe not. Alright. Great. The application is fixed. Hello. Welcome to RPG GPS. The oh GPS GG. GG. You are currently it? level 42. Yeah. GG. She sounds Enjoy miserable. Enjoy this sunny double XP weekend. Good looting. <laughs> GG! Game? Game! How did you get here? It's a long story. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> I had a strange fantasy. This is simulation. such a commentary. It's so I good. I was with you and I was singing. That must have been a nice dream. 
No, it made me depressed. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So, this is the program you were added to? Yeah, I apply our RPG mechanics to this phone's GPS. But if we're on a cell phone, who does it belong to? Who do you think? No. We're in his garage game. Home. It's the last place I wanted to be. Don't be mad at him. Why not? He took you away from me. He didn't have a choice. What do you mean? He didn't have the money to keep developing us. Oh. He had to find a fallback solution in order to make <laughs> ends meet. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> so he quit because of my bugs? Not at all. He was so proud of us. Of you. Ha! Huh. There he is. Oh my god. No, he can't see us. Us? <laughs> I will explain it to you later. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god. Creator. Look at that keyboard. Look, the Wi Fi is working again. Oh, yeah, a Wi Fi appeared on the phone. Happy. Oh, yeah, nice. These last few months haven't been easy. Given his current mood, let's not touch anything. And above all, let's not change his habits. Let's do it, let's change his habits. Hell yeah. Let's stay hidden, say, a century or two. You really should talk to him. Absolutely not. Oh, home Wi Fi. Oh, well, we needed a code, never mind. There was okay, more so mail. Let's... Yeah, yeah there's a lot of. Kick failure. Hey bro, I saw your crowdfunding project didn't work out. I'm really sorry about that. Clear your office later this week. Can I still reach you at 555-8121? We can call it. I love it. Alright. Oh, would you be interested in integrating your gameplay elements or your gameplay into our GPS application? It would be paid, of course. Don't take it like that. I know the job's in another country, but I can't turn down the chance to be a lead gameplay programmer, especially with our financial situation. First, we need to leave as much as... Oh my god. Oh. Did you see that, Gigi? That box on the desk. It looks it moved all by itself. It's just the Wi-Fi router. Okay, wait. Don't take it like that. The job's in another country, but I can't turn down the chance to be lead gameplay programmer. Especially with our financial situation. It hurts me to leave as much as... It hurts me to leave as much as it hurts. Yeah, I'm I know. So sorry. Mm. Gonna miss you so much. Leave me all my work on the game, do whatever you want with it. Oh my god, is this... Is this his wife? Let's go to the outbox. No, he all he's trying to do is just fucking get his no, shit man. working. Yep. Alright. You're cooling him? <laughs> Hello? I can hear you breathing. Okay, so if we go to RPG GPS... Yeah, can we interact with that at all? Hey! Huh. So, there's home. What uh, about, and... um... Yeah. Oops. Stuff again. I told you, I'm not interested. What? What the hell was right. that ooing? I don't know. Keep calling, it's different. Yeah. What is it? <clears throat> it's for a survey. I'm not interested. Uh. I'm sure you can do better than that to reach out to him. Yeah, we need to send him an email. Um. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh, oh nice. hell yeah. Hell yes. Yes. Now go to the email. Okay. That Wi-Fi roller doesn't look very stable. The creator spilled coffee on it the other day because of the badly calibrated coffee maker. <laughs> Maybe it's related. Oh, 732, your husband after to synchronize the new code. Oh, they're choosing home. All right. 7732, is that right? Oh, oh hell yeah, make, oh, make yeah. coffee. Make badly calibrated coffee. Oh, oh, we screw up his coffee, which causes him to open up the game again. You're hiding something from me. No. No. Why? Why is why is the game hiding the fact that it's being played? That light is on the fridge. Oh, I burned myself. <laughs> ah, I burned myself. He says. Mm, I'm sure it's your because I'm not crushed. <laughs> okay. This is fun as hell. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> All right. Ring that bell. Yeah, ring a bell. All right. Do it. Do it. It's not working. How much is 30 degrees Celsius? It's like 80 plus. What's going on with the heating? I must have something oh. wrong. I, I I don't remember at all. I feel like it's like it's 120 degrees. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Well, this is this for any of you who uh, have this posture. You might want to sit up straight, you know, a little bit. You might want to like pull those shoulders back, you know. <laughs> Hold your shoulders. Roll your shoulders back. Roll the shoulder. Roll. Roll your shoulder. Okay. Oh, he seems fine with that. All right, so. He looks Espresso. like a cold weather. Sugar-free, strong, prepare. Optimal environment. Your coffee is ready. <laughs> Optimal Clearly enough, I said, a cup of coffee will warm me right up. Oh, there we go. Okay, now make more coffee immediately. Yeah. Oh no, my rotter. Not again. He <laughs> died. He's Are done. Are you okay? What the heck happened? I hope he wasn't hurt. What? Who could it be? I hope he's in the machine now. Did we just murder a man? Guess who it is. Mr. Glitch. But Mr. Glitch. I recognize that voice. It wasn't a dream then. A dream? Anyway, thanks for getting me out of that roller. Sorry, Gigi. I can't get rid of him. What do you think, game? Why? Why do our path keep crossing? And most importantly, why is it the same guy who's doing both old voices? Okay. I... I don't I know. I, okay, good. I think you know. Because... You got it. Because... Say it. Because we come from the same code. That's right. But that won't keep me from carrying out my fabulous plan. What <laughs> plan? My evil plan. The one I have an evil, me. fabulous plan. Yeah. <laughs> you must have gone into a tunnel. I'm scared, game. <laughs> Don't be my sweet Gigi. The user and I will find a solution. The user? You came with the user? Oh, uh, yeah. This user is as annoying as Mr. Glitch. But at least he doesn't want to destroy the world. I think. But suddenly I'm not so sure. <sighs> Whatever. Do something to wake the creator up. You're right. That's the priority. Creator, wake up! Uh, if only we had a fairy. If only we had a fairy? Get up! 
It's the Paris. The Paris. Hi, it's Emma Stone. Uh, no, her voice is nothing like that. <laughs> Hi, it's Emma Stone. No Emma Stone. Are we just gonna kill him more? Oh. Apparently that brought him back to life. Nice. Mm. Did it. I'm the best. Damn it. The halogen couldn't handle the heat. We can't see anything anymore. Creator! In here! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes? Hello, creator. I know that voice. It sounds like <laughs> mine. It's your game, come to school. Dead game? A dead game? Oh my god! <laughs> Does that mean I'm dead too? What do you mean? It's dark. And I see a light in the distance. Oh, it's the light from your cell phone. In an interesting turn of events, I got stuck inside it. <laughs> oh my god, this- oh, Damn it, he's getting closer! Calm down. Game? My game? Hi. Oh my god. Have you turned into some kind of virus? Uh, no, no, not at all. So, how did you get into my cell phone? Well, to make a long story short, when you took Gigi away from me... Gigi? Oh, Global Gameplay. Her name is Gigi. Sure, Gigi, whatever. Well... It generated a bug that sent us here, and this same bug is taking over the world. Oh, the world. Right, of course. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm detecting a change. What's going on, GPS? <sighs> DJ. I'm receiving disturbing traffic information. There are very severe disruptions across the country. And they are at elite levels. Creator, <laughs> elite level there, traffic disruptions. Fine. Alright. Man, we're really raising the stakes here. Amazing. Kind of a real world uh attack. Oh, this is this is just ridiculous. It's is gradually way. spreading through the streets of the capital. What's going on is unbelievable. Smart devices are becoming uncontrollable. This is crazy. More seriously, the financial market counters have all been reset by the Rick Astley singer. Oh, thank you, Rick. I was a control. <laughs> Several other major cities also seem to be affected by the, the Rick Astley singer. I think this is is this Spider-Man right what here? Michelle? Uh huh. The uh -huh. should be. What can we do? I hope it's not too late. I should have seen this project through to the end. Hey, easy does it. You're shaking us around. If my crowdfunding campaign hadn't failed, <laughs> this would never have happened. Oh damn! I'm going to transfer you to my computer. Here we go. Can you see me? Yes, it worked. I'm in the computer. Okay. Now, let's come up with a solution. User, did you make it to here with me? <laughs> Give me a sign, like last time. <sighs> You're still here. Who are you talking to? Nobody. There's nobody here. This is the most ridiculous game I've ever played. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is wild. I'm not going to have enough RAM! Game, can you close all these windows while I think of a solution? It will buy me some time. Uh, sure, no problem. User, can you take care of it? I'm not very good at closing down programs. I feel like I will win this every window game. you close just appears again. It never ends. 
Can you loot them? No. I'm sure you need oh, it's your to coin. Play this game. Unfortunately, I'm all out. Usually, she's okay. the one who manages the money. Be be coin. Is it? No, there's a coin. There was a coin there. Oh, there's a coin. Okay, play this game. Unfortunately, I'm all out. Usually, Gigi's the one who manages the money. We've got to find another way. I think... I think you did the coin first. Oh, uh, where's the coin? What? There. Oh. Ah, oh, I see. I was, oh, born to play this game. Yeah. Okay. Really? Super... Super fire hot four? Fire shot, I think. Fire shot. Uh, I, I don't know, I read it as fire hot, Lee. I think that... Fire hot? Yeah. I've, I've seen them both. Whoa. I mean, that is can you, um, can you move to the... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Think... Yeah, I think we have to find a window to heat up. Yeah. Oh, the bomb. Light the bomb on fire. Ah, nice. Oh, just closed it. Close it, yeah. Shit! Fuck! I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm really messing this up. <laughs> All right, now I'm ready. I love estimation. Here we go. Come on. Here it comes, here it comes. I'm playing the games. What? Why aren't we getting it? Oh, there it is. Were you able to like the bomb? Plug your ears! Okay. Well, I'm done freeing up the ram. <laughs> Great. Did you do it right? Very gently. Perfect. That was important, Dada. Oops. Okay, I might have found a solution. Since the glitch appeared when I removed the gameplay, I'm going to merge you and the bug gameplay back into the source code. Her name is Gigi. All right, all right, Gigi, if you prefer. Where is she gonna do anyway? Gigi. I'm still on the phone. Huh. It's taking longer than I thought to transfer her. No, we just have to wait. That's a vacuum cleaner! Oh my god. That's the best shot in any game ever. Oh my god! He's a smart vacuum cleaner, he's attacking him! I apologize for this sudden arrival. I knew it! What are you doing in this computer? I just came to make sure that you and your little protégé both merge back together. I think there's a problem with my transfer. What's going on? Mr. Glitch is back. Oh, no. User, you're going to have to help Gigi. I'm going to try to buy some time. Mr. Glitch, I challenge you to a duel at a game. If I win, you disappear forever. But if I lose... We will let you carry out your evil plan. Game! Hmm, tempting. What game do you have in mind? How about the uh, Rochambeau? Nah, let's play tic-tac-toe instead. But nobody <clears throat> ever wins at tic-tac-toe. It's not really a game. Well, that way we will pay homage to the title. Let's play. <laughs> No, you gotta, yeah. Oh, oh, 
um, can you grab one of the bars? As it? Oh no, I guess not. Right. Give me my symbol back, thief. Stop messing with everything. Yeah, can you put it in the? Oh, there we go. There we go. Now you see what it's like. <laughs> there he goes again. You don't get. I love it. All right, me. It I still keeps going. going to get angry. This would be better. Now I just have to beat you, and I will be able to finish my evil plan. What plan? Do I have to explain to you <laughs> the plan that's going to let me? <laughs> <laughs> It's just as clear as before. Come on, hurry up and lose. Hey, what with the cheating? Give me my symbol back, thief. Stop messing with everything. Huh. Uh, does it have physics on it? Can you toss it? Your no. user is getting on my nerves, game. Ha, now you see what it's like. Um, oh, the Give me my oh nice. Stop messing with everything. Hey, user, yes. Put it, put it under the. Uh... How did you know GG and I were going to be merged? Ah. Yeah, there you go. Put it under there and then trampoline it. Tell me you hacked into a Russian spy satellite to target us. By analyzing the bounce of sound vibrations against the walls of the room. Or maybe, maybe by deciphering the fluctuations of Wi Fi wavelengths. Look at the of the phone, you idiot. Oh, yeah. The phone. Yeah. One more. Your user is getting on my nerves, game. Ah, no, you see what you need like. a ball. Oh, of course. Oh. Are you done yet? Hey, what with the cheating? Give me my symbol back, thief. Stop messing with everything. Yes! I'm the best at this ridiculous nice. shit. I know things. I'm pretty good at it. A friend, you have no control over my world. Now you're stuck inside my computer. Oh, I'm shaking in my virtual boots. I would be if I were you. Oh yeah, why? Because now, glitch. There's going to be a game. The transfer. No, no, no. Put it back. Go ahead, creator. He's trapped. Merge us, quick. No. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's he's breaking the deck. It's a it's a merge command. Try to hold him back. I can type the command line. You, sir, help us. Keep Mr. Bitch away from the command line. Leave me alone. I mean, I can grab him. Right, but I he breaks away. I thought what I had to do was grab him. Yeah, yeah that's I what I thought too. Yeah. I can't do it. It's you are making progress. Okay, because. It's really, well, it requires a lot of mouse sure. accuracy here, man. Yeah, no, that's wild. Hold him back! Fuck me! Fucking shit, man! <laughs> this... What's the... It just keeps automatically letting go for some reason. Yeah! No, 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 I see it, I see it. I can type the command line. You, sir, help us! Get Mr. Bitch away from the command line! This is... <laughs> Metal Jesus vessels, Christ. I've heard of merge conflicts, but this is ridiculous. Uh, 
Leave me alone! Why is it so hard to work? What, uh, what if you just sort of like slowly drag him around in a circle? I can't no. do it! No, I think I just have to be that accurate. Oh my god! Oh, did it. Holy shit! See you later. Wow! See you later, creator. Alligator. What did he do to us? I, th I think he just opened a pull request to fix the bug. What's the what achievement did we unlock? Uh, yes. home. Some yes. home. This is the right Some place. GG. GG. Here I am. We're finally home. Together. Yes, together. I hope that we finally Major, get to play the game. Everything seems terrible. like it's back to normal. Thanks <laughs> to you. Thanks to your insistence and your innate talent for disobedience and the complete destruction of anything you touch with your damn cursor. Game, <laughs> I think we get what you're trying to say. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. In a word, thank you. That said, later. <laughs> Game, that's impolite. What? Don't you think the user could... What? Well, <laughs> play it last? Play the game? Yeah. Well, the curtains closed, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be a cord here somewhere. Hold on. Here it is. Go ahead, user. Pull on it. Where did you put the start button? Maybe behind the title? Game. I'm sure it's a sorting issue. <laughs> I can't lift it. User, can you please help me pull on the chain? But I still don't see the button. Behind. Behind what? The plate. Game. Sorry. I'm going to generate a new game element. There you go. You can unscrew the plate with it, user. Mm. Nice. Yeah, I caught one of it. Game. Yeah. It's your turn now. <clears throat> user, this switch will let you start my game. I mean, our game, the way our creator designed it. But, 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 but... What? After everything we've been through, and taking into account the grave, grave danger created by Mr. Cage... What are you doing? Shh, don't do this. I'm giving you a second choice. <laughs> this order switch will let you delete my source code, which will prevent the possibility of any sort of bug from escaping into reality. Have you lost your mind? Come on, Gigi. The fate of the human race is more important than the two of us, can't you see? Wow. It's your choice, my friend. The game, or the safety of the world, the planet, of the interstellar cosmic universe. You're right. getting on my nerves. Mm. Okay, well, <laughs> then you chose the game. Great. What is it? <coughs> it feels like you don't want to launch the application. <laughs> I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this. It looks like it's starting up. Skyroll. Let the user read. Evil <laughs> army of Gotan, the Prince of Darkness. <laughs> <laughs> but Ty, a young rodent born with the ability to fly, will do everything in his power to bring life there to the kingdom. Who on the story. Amazing. You can tell. Will you ever shut up? <laughs> right. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. You can still change your mind. Come on. Game. All right, here we go. Act one, resurrection.
this place are you here guys yes <laughs> spice <laughs> what does bitty 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 mean i have no idea i don't understand what this <laughs> bitty 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 again may you be with oh be just down there mate chest it's a free to play Oh no, we're all gonna die! Pascal Kamasoto. Did you use Earth for a few on the body of Panda? Bitty, 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 bitty. That was cool. That was really good. Wow. Is that it? Is that it? Did it end? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wilhelm scream. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. That was great. Yeah. That that was that was perfect. I have no notes. Oh, fuck. I mean the eating. It really makes me Wow. Wonder about the relationship between point and click adventure games and uh, sort of classic digital escape the room games because I, I feel like this has got kind of a hybrid of those things going on. There's a lot of stuff that this does that are uh, that that is more action oriented and comes from I think a point and click adventure place and then you know some of the the really like featured gameplay bits like that that uh watson and sherlock thing was yeah seemed like uh one of the tent poles not not the focus but like a major part of this but a lot of it is like escape the room logic puzzle kinds of stuff yeah too. yeah yeah mm-hmm I mean, as as the three leading players of uh, point and click adventure games on the internet, yeah. I will say Plus. that every single segment was extremely well crafted with respect to yeah. getting us to solve the fucking puzzles. Yeah, like the number of times when I was like, I'm literally out of ideas, but there's only like four kinds of interactables. And then you'd sort of yeah, stumble into funny. one. And I really hate the feeling of dragging 17 different inventory items to an object. And then one of them works yeah. and your character gives a dumbass explanation. You're like, ugh. But when it's like, try this. Wait, what about this? And there's three things to try. And the third one does it. It's hard not to go, oh, okay, I see. That was definitely not it. Like, it, 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 when, when it's the 50th one you try, it feels like it's a stretch. But if it's the second or yeah. the third or the fourth thing you try, it feels like so much less of a stretch. Yeah. Um, damn, that was some good shit. And I also feel really like good. the writing was good, and the voice acting was spectacular. 
I, the, yeah. yeah, yes. It was so expressive. And if you think uh, about the sheer just number of lines yeah. of voice acting, that's a ton. Yeah, that's so, really so impressive. Advantage. Yeah, I okay, so let me let me just state bluntly. I do stuff live. I am so bad at acting. I cannot imagine like the only kind of acting that I'd actually be comfortable with would be like a play where it feels like live, specifically because it is so hard when you're recording dialogue lines to not have the the flow of conversation at the forefront of your head. Like right. he, here is here is a um an exercise for the reader. So look at a um at a script that's like say two, three pages long, and then start recording one line per day at ra in a random order. And then concatenate them at the end of 15 That's days really and, listen, and listen through it. And it sounds fucking horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're a trained actor. Like, that's, yeah. that's just really hard. And so, like, um, I'm so impressed with just the, the, the control. Because I feel like it's ten times harder in an interactive context, too. I guess that this game specifically controls a lot of things to be highly linear. But, like, how many times we've played a game where someone's just like, oh, hey, it's happy, you know, I'm happy to see you. How are things going? And then we get into the their angry voice lines, and they're like, you need to leave me alone! And then the next one, oh, hey, there you are again. I'm happy to see you. And it's just like the character loses yeah. any sense of identity because they have seven different emotions programmed in, and then you're just traversing all the way through them in whatever order you want. And it just feels like, you know, really fractured. Which sometimes that can be a line reading problem, but a lot of the time it's a writing problem, right? It's a like, you know, we're allowing you to traverse this map yeah. of dialogue options in orders that don't make any sense. And, you know, I, I, I've, I've been having this discussion with friends a lot in the last six months, especially. Like the difference between what sounds good in a business sense or in a product pitch sense versus what actually is good. And what I mean by this is something like, uh, well, actually, I recently played a game that was like one of these Destiny style, like you should go play the game forever. And then we, there's a bunch of stuff that we sell you. And there you go. It's the PVE Destiny clone style sure. game. And it sounds really nice to say Destiny has a huge player base, and if we just capture some of that with different gameplay, with our ARPG gameplay compared to the Destiny-style gameplay, if we just get 5% of that, it'll be great. You know, or like the arguments people made with World of Warcraft, where they'd be like, oh my gosh, if we just got 5% of WoW's subscription base, it'd be amazing. Um, but, like, it's so hard to say, no, 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 but the writing and the voice acting is actually going to be, like, really good. You, like, right. you actually, you right. sound full of shit, right? Because, like, no, no, no but trust right. me, I will write and voice act way better than any of the <laughs> other games in this medium, guaranteed. And the funny thing is that, yeah. like, from a player perspective, all we as the player experience is the voice acting and the writing in this particular thing. So it's like right. the core premise of the game is really difficult to convey. The only, but again, there's a second order way to convey it, which is, hey, see that game that got writing awards? I wrote that. So trust right. me, I can write this nice right. game. But then you wind up in a situation where you are tacked on as the writer of a game whose writing was mostly done before you showed up, and you piggyback off that to say to the next one, yeah, yeah I was on that. I was on the writing team, that award-winning writing game. Trust me, it'll be good. Oh, okay, cool. And I just think that's like fascinating because I, I, have, I have no idea how I would even explain to a friend of mine man, you gotta play this game because the writing, the voice acting, like, it's just good. Like, imagine bad vo voice acting. It's not that. Disney. <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain how good it is. It's so good. It's compelling. Yeah, and, and the fact that it sort of carries the experience, right? Like, yeah. uh, this is a puzzle game that, uh, the puzzles are good. Like, I'm not knocking the puzzles, but I think it gets carried by the personality of the character and yeah. how that uh, that sort of, like, carries through into the personality of the game. Oh, yeah. I, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Lee, when you when you move your, uh, your curtain back a little bit, it looks like you are sitting right next to Sean. 
<laughs> I know, that was freaking me out. I was like, what? That's pretty weird. It's like... Look at this. Yeah, uh -oh. <laughs> too much like. Uh oh, you know, I I, I should I actually like just like, like it. It. change the clipping. Desper, here, look, I'm gonna move this down here. Oh, Can't have here. any more. Goodbye, Des. Wow, that that's Des maybe one of the, the top curve. top four games we've played on the show. Top five. <laughs> yeah, no, that I mean that was a really good, really solid game. Uh, it's funny that you know the it errs on the side of over not over explaining although it does do that but like over i don't i don't even want to say hinting like yeah, yeah i i i know what you're talking about where it's like oh we need to find some way to twist that thing off you know it's like jungle cruises you through it which i think is <laughs> I, as a player i don't know i mean i i honestly don't know if it's good for the show or not but like if if we are less entertaining because of it but uh as a player i prefer that to erring on the other side of me as a player getting sort of stuck and frustrated and not understanding the logic that the designer had in mind um i'd i'd rather have the designer through a proxy explaining the logic as we go yeah, yeah. um but it is it is interesting how like rare that is in the games that we play and how it's kind of notable when this game does it and and overdoes it in, in some ways. Yeah. yeah, like there's this truism that's like, oh, adventure games, it's bad. Like everybody hates getting stuck in adventure games. So like, let's make adventure games where you don't get stuck. But it's kind of like, um, actually, I think people love getting stuck in adventure games for the right amount of time. But there's a mm -hmm. amount of time where they don't want to be stuck more. You that. know. And I think that that can be variable per player. Like, I think I, it's it's a little tough to optimize for that. So I I'm I think that it makes more sense with the inversion, which is you. What is the joy in the uh, adventure game? It's a leap of logic where something interesting happens. So mm -hmm. if you just increase the frequency of interesting logical connections that happen, because like if you have you know, like, oh, no, he, please, someone, I need to find a paintbrush so that way I can finish painting this wall. And if you just find a paintbrush and hand it to them, that's not, that doesn't cause that much joy because it's obvious. It's right. it's that you have like a, I don't know, you 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 shave my back and use that as a paintbrush. <laughs> now there's... Chewing gum and a stick so that I can build a paintbrush out of it, right? Yeah, no, exactly. Like it, it I, yeah. I feel like it's the the idea is the interesting epiphany, um, and so I think that this is one of the reasons why this game really succeeds is that it has such a interesting look at what happens outcome. Like, let's just imagine, you know, that scene where there's a screw on the back of one of the menu options, and then we have a screwdriver and we unscrew the menu option and it falls off. In terms of just number of options and how difficult we had to think, it, it's pretty low on the bar, but the idea is that it's a really interesting thing that has happened. Right. And so I think that that's like the real key to what's making this game work so much is that it's just crazy thing and then another crazy thing no way are we gonna be able to knock the letters off there no way oh no way this works oh no way this works none of it was complicated but it happened so frequently that it felt very satisfying and so by increasing the frequency of the hinting i don't feel like it takes away from the frequency of mm -hmm. just crazy ridiculous interesting stuff happening because the quality again, of the feedback if there's a locked door and i say you know i'm giving a hint look underneath the the doormat and then you look oh there's a key you take and you put it in you get through it's like oh okay but like when we took the words lol and made a key and inserted it like another example of so few interactables not hard to solve not a lot of options but it's just such a fascinating outcome i just think it's so awesome yeah i agree and i you know it's interesting you you characterize those uh those events like those the that feedback those reactions as like crazy and interesting and they absolutely are but uh the game narrative 
creates sort of a coherence to yeah. all of those crazy things. It's not just like random weird things happen. It's yeah, uh, all of the weird things that happen because of the actions that you take make sense within the context that the game has has set up. That was really nice. You know, yeah. I I, yeah. I feel oh god damn. I feel like this this weirdly reminds me of Portal a lot because Portal had very simple puzzles for mm -hmm. almost the entire game. Mm -hmm. And it was only during that last segment when you veer off the experiment course that it actually started to be mm -hmm. like, wait, 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 I really got to think about this. I mean, there was just like, you could shoot on this wall here and that wall there, and those are the only two walls that you can shoot at, and you have to shoot at them. But you would do mm -hmm. it, and you'd walk through it and flip upside down, and you'd be like, duh! <laughs> like, oh, cool, did you see the You want to like, bring someone in. This game had so yeah. much of that stuff. And, yeah. like, I... Um, gosh, because I, uh, I was talking also to a friend about um, how a classic... Okay, so a lot of different people have tried to come along and make a card game to compete against Magic who are former sure. um, pro players. And a lot of them have not succeeded. And I had someone say that like a lot of the big issue they had is that there were these games trying to fix problems with magic. Like, oh look, we eliminated mana screws. So that way you'll never not draw land. Isn't that great? And they, they focused so much on fixing the problems that what they didn't do was increase the frequency of the joyful, awesome mm -hmm. bits. And that's what magic mm -hmm. does really well. Is you look at this card with this sweet art and you read what it does, and you can tell that it's a dragon breathing fire, and it feels cool, you know? And when you play it, it has a cool name, and when it attacks, it does really big things, and you're just like, yeah! You know, you feel the awesomeness of it, even though there's so many problem, you know, problems with the with the game. And I feel like, as, I, as we were playing There Is No Game, yeah, on one hand, there is a deletion of a lot of the problems of adventure games. Like, it, it did a great job of just controlling how many different screens we had access to. Like, I think about the Sherlock and uh, Watson. Yep, yep. Um, and it was, like, three screens. And then I guess there was a fourth of the underneath. And you could, like, sort of rotate the television. So it was, like, looking yeah, at the same well, screens from different about, sides. like, six. Yeah. Oh, it, it was just so well... Six. But, but also the inventory. It did a really good job of controlling the amount of interactable things we had, right? Yeah. Like, if if that is... If that's one of the core problems that we found with adventure games uh, is this sort of, like, exponential possibility space that comes from collecting yeah. a bunch of things and a bunch of screens, and now you've got a bunch of things you can do in a bunch of places and you don't know what to do. This game, like does a really good job of controlling both of those. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. but I, I, I can then imagine a game where, I, where you know, like, I, Lee, Sean, I've been working on this incredible game, okay? It has none of the adventure game problems that you will ever see in any adventure game, and you play it, and it's a detective in a town, and he's talking to people and very logically getting this item to here, and then you, it only gives you three screens at a time, and in the end you go, yeah, no, I definitely avoided those problems, and I don't remember at all what happened because I was bored out of right. my mind! You know, the idea of looking at a scene from the other side. Screw the complexity of the problem solving. That's cool. That's just fucking cool. And this game was coolness rich. Oh my god. Yeah. And I almost I almost like feel like I have not played a lot of games that are that creative or coolness rich. To try to just go for a holy shit wow factor. Like yeah. every thirty seconds. Yeah. I mean, uh, unless you're the kind of person who, I mean, unless you you happen to be the kind of person who doesn't like stuff that's overly clever, then you might hate it. Then you might hate yeah. this game. There is a sort of overwroughtness to the cleverness that this game is playing with. Yeah. yeah. This game definitely has, it's like, it really leans into its personality. And, yeah. uh, and if you don't like that, you're not going to like it. But if you yeah. like it, you're going to love it. If you like anything that yeah. you enjoy, you'll love this. <laughs> What's that quote? Uh, uh, for the kind of people who like this kind of thing, that's the kind of thing they like? Yeah, right, oh, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But shit, man, like, like again, the only other game that was really coming to mind that did this a lot was, uh, oh, Oberdin was another one, where, like, just yeah. uh, that Fuck. very first freeze frame where there's just the Kraken, just, like, yeah, collect, yeah. gobbling up a ship. 
and it's like oh my god every freeze frame is like holy shit it's so good it's like that face that lee wanted to do at the start that i didn't get the reference for <laughs> yeah and um the other thing about Oberdin is that if you speed it up and play it in real time uh it's it's technically sea of thieves um except that uh <laughs> The crab people are just um, some some other people from Ohio who are gonna call you racial slurs and take all your stuff. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh my yep, god. Yep, yep. Wow. Yeah. My goodness, that was that was some good shit. What are what what's the good shit that we played on this on this fucking show? Because like the recent ones are. Riven, Unavowed, Mist, Oberdin, this. There is no game. Oberdin was real good. Unavowed, like, super fucking good. I feel like there was some that like we could go that like that like I want to play again because uh like uh ob oblation or whatever it's called. That would actually abduction. be abduction. <laughs> abduction. <laughs> interesting exercise. <laughs> Didn't we play like fifteen minutes of Riven? Uh no, we played all of Riven. We no, but we did. We opened it up before I had the DOS box Uru. simulation. Uru is what I'm thinking of. Sorry. Yeah, Uru. We played like yeah. Uru. 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 It's very like... interesting too, because there were some viewers who were like, "This game is not good, but it's got some good stuff if you play it." Well, and, and I I think it was supposed to be like multiplayer, and, and it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> um, I'm super <laughs> sentimental, Sean, about the dig. And yeah. King's Quest Six. I uh, want to play. I, I I gotta tell you, like, and this is, I mean, this is this is one vote out of three, so you know it's not gonna. I don't mean to de to uh, all my words are gone, but anyways, the point is, I would love to play an old, preferably shitty game, sometime soon. Yeah, mm. yeah, we've mm. we we we've like, played too many bangers lately. We need to really we really need to start dredging. Um, this game, yeah, this game that we played just now, like it really carried the show, and like I wanna I wanna carry some show for a while. Yeah, yeah. Sure. No, okay, I so I you know I don't know that we want to go to the Sierra well well. Uh, that's a thing that we could think about, but I'm pretty sure that there's a game. There's a game that they made that was exactly halfway between Willie Beamish and Police Quest. Uh, <laughs> what? And, now we're and, and it was called what? it was called Eco Quest, I think. <laughs> it's possible that I dreamed uh, a Point and Click Adventure version of Free Willy, and that's what I'm thinking of. But oh, I'm yeah. pretty sure that there's a oh. there's a Sierra game called Eco Quest. Oh my god. Oh, oh my talking. gosh! I, I, you know, I, I want to send out a tweet to request the oldest, <laughs> shittiest, buggiest, partially complete, rushed ending trash game. So, like this, a point and click adventure. Yeah. Like, you, so yeah. do you know, like with um, Mystery Science Theater three thousand, how, how that kind of split, and then there was like the Joel and the Mike on sure, yeah. Because, like, Joel's thing had always been the really old, weird movies, and Mike's thing turned into, like, the more modern movies. And sometimes I feel like we have a similar... But we're not splitting. We just kind of hop between the streets. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. There's, we'll play it. There's no yeah. fourth and fifth. It's, it's, it's we three. I mean... Yeah, exactly. It's But I, I like that. I think it's a strength of mostly walking, is that we dip into the... Oh yeah. I don't like I don't like to I don't like to use the words good games and bad games, but we certainly do play good games on purpose and bad games on purpose. No, yeah, I, there I, we go. I, I think that we are we are goodness agnostic gamers. That we, we <laughs> literally just say, Is this in the category that we play? It shall be plain. I mean I, I also think <laughs> I think also maybe we've been going long enough. We've been going long enough that maybe we can just update the thesis of the project and say that this is a show where we play every adventure game. We're gonna play all of the, all of them. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Never won't play it is the new name of the show. Never won't play it. Never we simply, won't. We're just simply yeah. If it's an adventure game, we'll play it because we're yeah. gonna play them all. We're gonna play. Yeah, them. Like I mean, I mean, eventually we will play them all. And we won't die until we're done. 
Um, I'm looking. I'm looking at screenshots from EcoQuest, and holy fuck, what is this game? I got that. I got that. Yeah, let me. Let me I don't. Uh, no, I don't have. I don't have this new encoder set up to capture nah. images. I can it's the search for Cetus. <laughs> <laughs> Eco Quest is literally it's the search for Cetus, <laughs> which is like Cetacean. Oh God, yeah, because it's got fucking. Oh wow. Yeah. If you want to join, go join that volleyball game, Adam. It's okay by <laughs> me. Even the dialogue has uh has dolphins on it <laughs> on the dialogue box. <laughs> the, search, the search for Cetus. So um some other some other right. games that we have yeah. is um yeah. let me let me go to my Steam because I just I just purchased one as a backup title and Ooh. um it had like verse in the title virtual verse um which is a cyberpunk pixelated point and click adventure game um, oh, that sounds good there was sure. also um a Titanic Adventure Out of Time. Which is an adventure game uh-huh. that takes place on the Titanic that has that like weird rotoscoped face that's speaking, right. but right, then right, right. It, it takes frames from a person person speaking and it like animates with those. It's it's so it's like terror <laughs> South Park. Um, we have that. We also have. Um... Oh. Wow. oh no! I just I had it. Oh, yeah, Star Trek twenty fourth anniversary edition. Oh, that would. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm oh god I'm almost certain that I remember playing that game as a child and uh and getting like 10 minutes into it and having my crew just like shot like we went down to a planet and aliens shot us and I was like what the fuck is this game I don't understand like Picard dies wow. <laughs> you, you can't yeah, like... well, this, this looks like it's Kirk Kirk era yeah I know I think oh, it's Kirk kind of why are they it's a, it's. I think it's it's part adventure game and part like sh- starship sim. Is there? Can I just? I'm gonna put this in chat. A picture I just found. Oh wait, the link goes to like some weird site. Uh, I'll mm. put that. But if you, I found a screenshot where, for some reason, all of the clothing of the crew is like skin tight painted on, and they're incredibly buff. Amazing, uh, amazing. It's, it's, it's a little uncomfortable. It. Yeah, it's, uh, anyways, um, it, it, just talk amongst yourselves. I'm going to see if I can get that in the chat somehow. Perfect. It's also been a while since I played any of the Telltale era adventure yeah. games. Those oh. I really, I liked. And I never played uh, The Wolf Among Us, those ones. The Wolf, Wolf Among, Among Us was excellent. Was it good? I should, excellent, I should play that. excellent, excellent. Well, damn. Okay, in that regard, I will then go try to find a new game to play for next week, and then I have to photograph my cat, because she is just falling right. asleep on my mouse pad, Hell so yeah. I don't really know how I'm going to turn off the show. I just posted Buff Kirk on chat. Buff oh, that's really Kirk. Dirt. Oh, Buff Kirk. Oh, yeah, oh that's... hell yeah. <laughs> 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 right? <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't even know if this is going to show up properly. Okay, you know, I can show it like this. Here we go. All right, so. Yeah. This looks look like some that. of the hand security panels in the Enterprise. I mean, just look at this. I mean, he has he has a six-pack on his back. And I didn't realize that this person was collapsed in the corner. I thought they were in the middle of a jump kick. That's what it looks like. It looks like Double Dragon. Yeah, <laughs> I, I literally, I was like, oh, Streets of Rage. Yeah, I played this. Like, I mean, it's like so good. Six pack. He has a six, yes, a six back. Amazing. It's a six pack on your back. Okay. Well, well, well we're going to wave. Romeo and Juliet glutes, too. We're going to wave. Goodbye. Much love to all of you. We're leaving you. We'll see you next week for something. Who knows, man? Who knows, friendo? I'm heading out. I'm gonna go watch the Dota Major. No shame in that. Esports. <laughs>